Thank you. <laughs> we're gonna make me play in the wheel. Mm-hmm. We're gonna make you break your rules. But you wanna hear? Laugh, I'm not no singer now. We wanna hear the Louisiana Walls. Hold up, hold up. They just they just picked up by ear is what it is. We never we ain't we ain't never read music. And the song you wrote, the Don't Bury Me. Don't bury me. Uh, and then I. How did you come up with but, that song? What well, they just from? come up uh, from from an old song, you know. Just change it a little bit. And, why, why and then, and then I've got another one on that CD that, that is the Louisiana Walls on the fiddle. What's your inspiration for for writing that waltz? Well, it <laughs> was okay with what I mean. It's uh, you know, you just get it while you're playing, really. While you're playing for the public. It just come up to you. The big, the big family game, something like that. There you go. Quintino Ball Yerswa. It was split it. It was kind of wanting to be glued. It, that, that, that didn't work. And it split on the top. You don't know what kind of wood it's made of? Don't know what kind of wood that is. Really don't. Well, tell us about that's the one you play now? That's my regular fiddle right here. That's the one played on. And what kind of, tell us what makes it so special? It's just a uh, and to me, it's a good fiddle. What makes a good we'll fiddle? Get, we, we, I, well, we get along fine, me and my fiddle. <laughs> uh, other musicians <laughs> plays on it, they can't, they can't, uh, it don't go too good. And I'm also that way when I play with somebody else's fiddle. It's, not the same it's way, way different. So that's the one you play most of the that's time. That's the one I'm playing so the most other of the time. Just sort of like a backup. Well, it, it, we play two. We play two or three different uh, accordions, different tunes, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I I carry along two fiddles, with two different tunings. Where'd you get that fiddle from? Was anybody local that makes them, or this one here? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Get by. You really want to know everything about it? Mm -hmm. Hold up just a minute. <laughs> you even got the clock with the fiddle, huh? Okay, I'll tell you about it. I had a little grocery store, and I had pumps, gas pumps. There's a guy, this guy, whatever his name is, 
run out of gas on the interstate. We got a, I got a friend that brought him over here and he had this fiddle here and a guitar in his car. And he asked me if I'd, if I'd hold his fiddle for some gas until the next day. Well, there it is. You can see <laughs> all about it. So you got $19 worth of gas? We got nineteen dollars worth of gas. And I guess he didn't come back for his fiddle. And, and well, and then five dollars cash. Cash. Uh. And he was supposed to come the next day to pick up his fiddle. He never did. <laughs> so this is that's the, that's the fiddle. <laughs> so you decide that was a good fiddle. I'm keeping. That's it. That's it. You've been playing it since. I've been that playing the since. young people take that Cajun music again and especially a lot of them play the fiddle because there are very few, very few. <laughs> <laughs>